Welcome back. Joining us now, retired Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg. General, it's great to have you on. Okay, let's tackle this story. When you hear that 21 top Senate Republicans had to step up and send a letter to DHS Secretary Mayorkas demanding he explain why and how eight illegal aliens with ties to ISIS got inside the United States, what's your reaction when you hear Secretary Mayorkas call terrorists, quote, people of concern? One of the suspects reportedly caught on a wiretap talking about bombs. The senators sending the letter include John Thune, John Cornyn, Chuck Grassley, Joni Ernst, and Shelley Moore Capito. What do you think? Yeah, Liz, well, first of all, thanks for having me. Look, all of the lights are blinking red right now when it comes to terrorism here in the United States. You've got not only the, those representatives, but you've got Mike Turner, who's chair of the Intel Committee. You've got former uh, Mike Morell, former deputy director of the CIA. You've got uh, FBI Director Ray, all talking about the concerns of terrorism coming to the United States. And look, the reason it's happening is because of open borders. When you look at the amount of people that have come through, we don't really know who's even coming in there. We do, it could be terrorists that come out of, uh, out of uh, Afghanistan or Tajikistan, where originally they picked up six on the most wanted list. When you look at what's happening, it could be from state sponsors like Iran. It could be other cartels. We just don't know. And the problem you've got, Liz, is we are really, in the United States, a really a target-rich environment. And what I mean by that, we don't have a lot of the real internal controls, oppressive controls on people and their movement. And you look at some of the facilities and things that we have that are really quite vulnerable. Look at your transportation systems. You look at your trains. You look at your energy facilities. You look at all these facilities across the board. Well, and, the, and they're very, stay with me, very because vulnerable. They were caught in L.A., in New York City, in Philly, and mm -hmm. the senators wrote in this letter, that federal authorities vetting these individuals did not detect any ties to ISIS, but they only discovered these ties later when they were inside the United States. So it truly is an open border, Sen uh, excuse me, General. Yeah, well, it really is. Look, let's go back to 9-11. Nobody really, nobody said of those people that were the terrorists on board those aircraft were, quote, terrorists. They were students that took flying lessons. And look what happened. And at the same thing, you know, nobody's going to walk around with a giant sign list that right. says, hey, hit me, I'm a terrorist. They're not. They're going to go undercover. They're going to be sleeper agents. They've got a greater idea of what yeah. they want to do into the future. And that's it true. really causes problems with our law enforcement you know, facilities. But that's the way it is. We must be ready for it. You know, former President Trump called to give his condolences to the mother of Rachel Morin, who was murdered by an illegal yeah. alien. Uh, watch Rachel's mom, uh, Mayorkas, not remembering Rachel's name. The Biden White House not reaching yeah. out to her. The mom says they're treating this like another data point. Rachel was a mother of five. Now five children don't have their mother. Watch this. My reaction is that it's a completely political statement because they're not even willing to acknowledge that she was a female, that she was a mother, a daughter. No one's contacted me personally, and as far as I know, no one has um, reached out and contacted anybody in the family. And to not even acknowledge that my daughter is a person or um, that she's a female or that she's a mother, like to categorize her as a statistic um, is just, it, it just shows how impersonal that they are. Your final word, General. Yeah, remember their names, like Lake, Lake and Riley. Say their names. Remember their names. These were American citizens killed by illegal aliens, and we need to know that. It's happening all the time, and we need to protect our citizens from these illegals that are coming across and causing damage and causing crime. That's simple. General Kellogg, thanks for joining us. We'll have you back on again soon.